Michael and I are having a romantic dinner date at home, and fresh herbs find their way into just about every dish to tempt our palate. The individual creme brulee cheesecakes will be a decadent finish to the meal. And I have my shrimp and scallop parchment parcels chilling, ready to be baked off right before we dig in. As an appetizer, I wanted to make tomato basil tarts. I've got a full pint of grape tomatoes that I've cut in half, and I'll add a little garlic and some finely chopped red onion. The tomato filling for these tarts is really like a bruschetta mix. And it just takes a little splash of balsamic vinegar and a little bit of olive oil. I love how the natural sweetness of balsamic vinegar highlights the sweetness in the tomatoes. Now the trick here is to let the tomatoes sit and let the juices come out of them. I'll just set this aside and whip up a quick vinaigrette because I'd like to serve the tomato tart warm next to a simple salad. I picked up those beautiful greens and herb cresses from Bob, so just an easy vinaigrette to go on top will be ideal. A little balsamic. combination of Bob's greens I picked up, the tatsoi with its cabbagey flavor, and the herb cresses, the chervil and coriander cress with their herb sort of background notes with a hint of pepper themselves, would be fantastic with a simple dressing and alongside the warm tomato tart. Now that the tomatoes have had a chance to sit, a lot of the liquid has come out of them. And the trick Michael taught me is to reduce the juices, to concentrate the flavors. And the scent of the tomato essence with the balsamic reducing on the stove is just fabulous. It's a special evening for the two of us, so I'm treating ourselves to puff pastry tarts. Since I'm only making two tarts, I'll just use half of the pastry. My tomato vinegar solution just needs to reduce a bit more. I'll get my egg wash ready. An egg wash is simply a whole egg mixed with a little cold water, and it serves two purposes. It adds shine to the outside of a tart, but also helps to hold it together. chop the fresh basil leaves. I'll add a few tomatoes just to loosen the glaze. Now I've got a tomato mixture that tastes even more like tomatoes. Stir in the basil. Just a touch of salt. Then I pack as much tomato as I possibly can onto each. And to build the tart, I just use that square shape and fold the pastry over the tomatoes. And I pinch it down in the corners just lightly. These tarts bake in a 375 oven for 30 to 35 minutes. After that puff pastry is golden brown and flaky, I'll crumble some fresh goat cheese on top while the tarts are still warm, and that goat cheese will melt in just a little bit. And then it'll be time for our special evening.